Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint by Sing Shong Chapter 64 Master of the Throne Part 1 Kim Yeshin's stigma, Gather the Warang, was a skill that called the elite Warang that died in history, the Dragon Flower Tree. To put it simple, it was a ground version of the ghost fleet that Li Jaihai used. It wasn't comparable to the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare's power, but it was still a great stigma used by a constellation. Go! The buried bones were removed, and the Dragon Flower Tree unit rose to fight with Beach's army. Some Warang had no eyes, while others had no arms or legs. It was cruel. They would raise their blades as long as Kim Yeshin was here. This was despite their souls being worn down, their anger erased, and even their hearts gone. They were soldiers who fought to prevent the fall of their kingdom. Now they were fighting for a fallen kingdom. You are still a coward, Kim Yeshin. Now you are even pushing your dead men. Come on. Let's have a one-on-one -on -one fight. I was still at Gaibik's provocation. It was because Kim Yeshin didn't want to move. He would crush Gaibik with the overwhelming force of the dragon flower tree. The magic power that emerged from his sword mercilessly filled the air. Kim Yeshin. The shout filled the air and even the emotionlessly dragon flower tree hesitated for a moment. This was Gaibik. The last master of beach, Gaibik. Gaibik was a constellation that overwhelmed Kim Yeshin just in terms of physical buff abilities. In fact, Gaibik never fought one-on-one -on -one against Kim Yeshin in the Battle of Wangsenbiel. To be exact, it right to say that Kim Yeshin avoided the confrontation. The character Chu Wan Jin has used the stigma prepared to fight to the death for the country LV2. In history, Gaibik's army fought against Kim Yeshin's army that outnumbered them by several times and won a few impossible battles. The last winner might be Kim Yeshin, but Gaibik wasn't defeated until the final battle of Wangsenbiel was held. He united his soldiers with patriotism and his shouts were close to insane. I carried Kim Yeshin behind me right now, but if things were different, I might have called Gaibik. Guangcheng's incarnation shouted, General! Don't move! Kim Yeshin spoke through my mouth. My expression was unchanged, despite looking at the dying dragon flower tree members. Kim Yeshin's serene image was conveyed. Daibik shouted, your cowardice hasn't changed, despite you becoming a constellation. That's right. Kim Yeshin was a coward. He was afraid of death and afraid of defeat. That's why he was strong. His emotions were unshakable and he didn't commit rash acts. Defeat the enemies in a way that achieved victory. That's how he won the final battle of Wangsenbiel, despite being defeated four previous times. Kwaak. The hundreds of dragon flower tree members clashed fiercely with Gaibik. His incarnation was so severely hurt that he could no longer survive. His whole body was bloody while there were fatal wounds on his arms, thighs, and sides. However, Gaibik kept moving through the crowd of dragon flower tree members towards me. Kim. Yu, Shin. The stigma request for reinforcements has been activated. Ghost soldiers appeared like shadows from behind Kim Yeshin and sprang towards Gaibik. Based on the different articles of clothing on the soldiers, they might not be Scylla troops. Perhaps they were the Tang Dynasty troops called to destroy Goguryeo as expected from Kim Yeshin. The only thing important to him was winning. Using foreign forces wasn't an important issue for him. Numerous spears pierced his chest. Daibik's incarnation couldn't overcome the pain and fell to his knees. Kuhik. The incarnation of the strong Daibik was now at his limit. Daibik laughed. I am resentful. I can't touch you even on this fake stage. I wanted to exchange swords with you just once. Daibik's red eyes made me feel confused. Guangcheng was alive, history had changed. But this was one part that didn't change. Kim Yeshin asked, Daibik. Why did you do this? 
If you die in this state, you can't choose another incarnation for a while. Why did you suddenly abandon the scenario? Daibik had a distant look on his face, and then he gave a meaningful smile. Kim Yushin waited before pulling out a blade. I hurriedly took back control of my voice. He can't be killed with my hands. Why? There are restrictions. The king of no killing meant I couldn't carry out direct slaughter. As soon as I killed one person, I would lose my throne. Kim Yushin nodded like he understood. I see. I roughly understand. Don't worry. The stars will honor your commitment. But it is I, Kim Yushin, who will deal with Gaibik, not you. But. There is a lingering attachment, please understand. Kim Yushin gestured and one of the Dragon Flower Tree members nodded. I handed over my voice to Kim Yushin. Gaibik, let's meet in the next world. Daibik's incarnation looked up at us silently. He wanted to say something but he couldn't open his mouth. At the last moment, his face looked like a minor actor who completed his scenes rather than Gaibik. Then the incarnations had quietly flew through the air. Stage transformation has ended. You have experienced the Battle of Wangsenbeel. 1,000 coins have been earned as experience compensation. I looked around and saw that all of Beach's army was wiped out. The authority of King of No Killing is retained due to the indirect nature of the killing. It was fortunate. King of No Killing was only lost when I killed someone directly with my own hands. The life that the Dragon Flower Tree member took wasn't recognized as me killing someone. Representative Nim. Are you okay? Lee Sungkook's voice was heard from behind me. Yu Senga sighed with relief, while Lee Gilyoung was disgruntled that he couldn't do much. Then Min Jiwen asked, what the hell was that? She looked like she had completely lost her soul. I shrugged and said, you should study history if you want to be a king. I might have called Kim Yashin, but I didn't belong to Silla or Beach. I called Kim Yashin because he was the most appropriate one to deal with Gai Beek. Anyway, I was glad that the result was better than expected. I was able to thoroughly check the performance of the Gampyongui, and I could get some coins and items from the beach members. You have earned 5,400 coins. Coins possessed, 74,950 C. Now I wasn't afraid of the final phase of the fourth scenario. It is time to go to the north. The remaining duration of the call is three minutes. Kim Yeshin's divine blessing still remained. I should take advantage of the remaining time left on the Gampyongui. It could only be used seven times, so I couldn't waste it. Rise up Dragon Flower Tree. The broken fragments of the Dragon Flower Tree unit rose again and I pointed north with my sword. Advance. The consumption of magic power was huge, so the operation time of the Dragon Flower Tree unit was short. The Dragon Flower Tree unit started to march north, randomly sweeping away the small and medium groups. It might be possible to wipe out all the forces of the other kings gathered at the National Palace Museum. There were screams as forces fought all over the street. What are these skeletons? Ack. The incarnations that ran towards me were crushed by the Dragon Flower Tree unit. Since I wasn't the one attacking, I didn't get a penalty for killing. Yes, this was an invigorating taste. Kim Yeshin's holy voice was heard in my head. There is something strange about you. Your mind is intact despite hearing my true voice. I have a strong mentality. I was a bit surprised by the words. The constellations used the indirect messages to communicate for a reason. Kim Yeshin was just a low-ranking constellation, but most people would pee their pants or faint hearing his holy voice. In fact, I was a bit worried about that too. Remember, you owe me a big debt. In order to help you, I had to embrace more possibilities than necessary. There was something sinister about his tone. I quickly expressed my appreciation. I am thankful. I won't forget General's help. You are a hasty friend. 
You don't have anyone to pass it on to yet. Won't it happen one day? If I give birth to a child, I will surely tell them what happened today. Rather, you don't seem to have a sponsor. I had an ominous feeling. Damn, this old fox kept talking. I like you. If you don't mind, I would like to become your sponsor in this world. His words were nice, but it merely meant to be his slave. That will be a problem. Why? Isn't my strength enough? You can become the strongest of this age with just my stigma. The gather the warring stigma was good. But that was when applied to Kim Yashin Saga. The strongest in this era? He was trying to scam me. The words were ridiculous for someone who wasn't a fable level. If the great sage the equal of heaven heard it, he would have squeezed Kim Yashin's head tightly. Now isn't the age of the three kingdoms. You are old and should take a break. We had fun together but let's not see each other again. The constellation prisoner of the golden headband is laughing at King Hunma the Great. Dot. 300 coins have been sponsored. Kim Yunshin was silent for a moment, perhaps because his pride was pricked. I thought he would back off, but a sharp pain suddenly shot through my head. Have you forgotten that my divine blessing still remains? Currently, Kim Yeshin and I were connected through the Gampyongui. The muscles of my body spasmed in an unusual manner. No matter what, wasn't he a great person of Korea? No, maybe he could do this, because he was a great person of Korea. Damn it. It would be better to think again. Yu Senga looked at me with worry. Doc SSI? Yu Senga SSI. Get away from me. Quickly. My trembling right hand didn't listen as it raised unbroken faith and started pointing it at Yu Senga. Kim Yeshin started to exert control over my body. Did you say there was a restriction on your actions? I wonder what the restriction is. What if I kill that woman right now? Kim Yeshin, this is your will. It isn't my karma. Hoo hoo, I don't know. What if I disengage the moment I stab the blade? Won't it be recognized as your actions? And this woman seems to be quite precious to you? Stop. Make a promise. In the next sponsor selection, you will choose Kim Yeshin. The intent of this old fox was obvious. The second sponsor selection would begin the moment the fourth scenario was over. Kim Yeshin wanted to use this pledge as an opportunity to acquire me. If I hadn't read Ways of Survival, it might not be a bad choice. Kim Yeshin was a fairly decent constellation, and there were a few scenario in the middle that could be cleared with Gather the Warring alone. However, if I was going to pick a sponsor, I would have picked the Great Sage, the equal of heaven in the beginning. Why should I choose Kim Yeshin now? I said no. In addition, I had the contract with Bai Hyung that didn't allow me to choose a sponsor. Kim Yeshin's voice hardened. You are a stubborn young man. But it is the wrong choice. How long can you endure? The blade in my hand started moving towards you Senga. You Senga SSI, quickly. Why didn't the smart you Senga move? I looked at my right hand moving against my will and finally made a decision. Damn it, I respected him as a great person, but he forced me to do this. I took a deep breath. This was my body. I would never give it to this guy or any constellation. The exclusive skill, fourth wall, is activated. Chapter 65 Master of the Throne Part 2 The pages of Ways of Survival flashed in my head. A light streamed through my head and the strings of light started to line up. They were the text of Ways of Survival. Heek. Kim Yeshin discovered something was wrong and his presence became noticeably thinner. The old fox noticed quickly. The echo of the constellation connected through echo of the stars has disappeared. At the last moment, Kim Yeshin's astounded voice was heard. What are you? Then Kim Yeshin was gone. I was surprised as well. I expected it to be possible with fourth wall, 
but I didn't think the Gampiangui connection to the constellation could be broken so easily. The encounter in the theater dungeon was a hint. The fourth wall had destroyed the theater master the moment he tried to look inside my head. I was hoping the same thing would happen to the constellation, but Kim Yeshin noticed quickly and ran away. The constellation, King Hung with the Great, has doubts about your existence. The constellation, King Hung with the Great, will be watching you closely in the future. In any case, I was still being followed by the old geezer. Are you okay? Yes. I'm fine. But. What was this? I looked up and found that my limbs were tied up with magic power. It was a chrysalis-like appearance. Yusenga's face was completely red. That. I couldn't run away, but I couldn't let you attack me. I roughly understood what was going on. She used binding thread on me during that short interval. I thought she was frozen with surprise, but she was actually using a skill. Your improvisation is amazing. I'm sorry. It is a compliment. If I start acting strange in the future, act like you did now. I, I will release you. Yusenga looked embarrassed, but I was serious. It was my mistake when I thought of her as an ordinary office worker. I looked back and saw Min Jiwen looking between me and Yusenga with curious eyes. Well, it turned out like this. I came to help only to end up being helped. I nodded. We will be enemies the next time we meet. Why don't you join us now? It is a common proceeding in dramas. This isn't a drama. My friend. Make friends with faith. It is the banner of our warring. Min Jiwen said with a smile, before moving away. Could she be a good king? I don't know. Perhaps even the king of beauty didn't know. We will go as well. Lee Sungkuk SSI. Come on. Lee Sungkuk emerged from behind the building with Lee Gil Young. This bastard, when did he hide in such a place? I took my companions and started to move north. The place that Kim Yeshin's Gather the Warang swept through was devastated. The armed forces of the small kings were lying all over the place. This was the dignity of a proper constellation. Kim Yeshin was a cowardly but useful constellation. I picked up three flags and built up my achievements. Your brown flag has absorbed the cumulative achievements of the brown flag. Your brown flag has evolved into a purple flag. You are able to use the perks of the purple flag. Indeed, the best thing was to grow without a fight. I looked around and saw that most flags had already been collected. From the purple flag onwards, the achievement values of the flag wouldn't rise well. In other words, it was useless to grab a small king from now on. Young Minziab SSI, are you there? The next moment, Young Minziab appeared out of thin air. The recluse's cloak that I handed him in advance was covering his body. Young Minziab's mission was to scout the National Palace Museum. How many have gone inside so far? A total of nine kings have entered, including the tyrant king and true reader. Nine. It was a reasonable number. What are the flag types? There are seven purple and two brown flags. In particular, there are two with really a really deep purple color. I guess they are the tyrant and true reader. That's right. Young Minziab, wasn't his talent quite useful? I opened my mouth. This time, I will only go with you Senga SSI and Gil Young. Both of you wait outside. Stay hidden, using the cloak. Will it be okay? Yes, I only need three people right now. I will enter if you call us. I appreciated the thought, but it would just be a disruption. It was because the current Seoul Palace Museum was a dungeon. A new hidden scenario has arrived. Plus. Hidden scenario, artifact trials. Category, hidden. Difficulty, F to a plus. Clear conditions, clear the right artifact dungeon with the proper personnel. Time limit, none. Compensation, 500 to 5,000 coins. Failure, death. Plus, a white marble lobby appeared before us as we entered the museum. There were no signs of anyone else in the lobby. 
Yusenga spoke in a soft voice. I can't like culture now without feeling scared. There was the previous theater and now this museum. Hyung, are we going to get the legendary sword? No, not right now. Of course, I could find the four in demonic beheading sword in this dungeon. That's why I sewed the information. Please select the type of dungeon you want to enter. Asterisk single player dungeon, Nagak, large seashell played as a horn in Korean traditional music. Asterisk three person dungeon, acupuncture copper man. Asterisk five person dungeon, Dongue Bagam, Korean book compiled by a royal physician, considered as one of the classics of oriental medicine. Asterisk seven person dungeon, dragon jar. However, the dungeon with the four in demonic beheading sword couldn't be entered in a normal manner. It was because the dungeon was only accessible using the Sang Pyong Tong Bo coin, which was given as a reward when clearing a dungeon. I will choose the three person dungeon, the acupuncture copper man. You have entered the three person dungeon. Lee Gil Young looked a bit disappointed. He had been expecting to get a great artifact. Gil Young. An artifact isn't about the outward appearance. Huh? There are many impressive looking things that have no substance. The four in demonic beheading sword was one such item. Rather, the good things in this dungeon could be obtained from the commonplace dungeons. An example was the skill that could be obtained the acupuncture copper man dungeon. Yusenga was amazed and surprised as soon as we entered the dungeon. There are other people besides us. Intermittent screams could be heard from the dungeon. Yuak. Go away. It was a monster in human form with a matte color. The three-person dungeon was filled with these copper people. It was the seventh grade species, the acupuncture copper man. After a certain amount of time, these guys would self-proliferate unless the method to attack them was known. The acupuncture copper man didn't suffer because they had a strong body, no internal organs, and no neural networks. Aya. Save me. Some of the incarnation swords cut at copper men, but they didn't receive much damage. Rather, they pulled the incarnation's bodies down. The body of a man in his fifties was torn to pieces in the hands of the copper men. Doc JSSI, how do we deal with these guys? They don't receive damage at all. Yusenga and Lee Gilyoung aimed their weapons or skills at the incoming copper men, but there was hardly any effect. Sometimes, Lee Gilyoung's blunt attack would damage them, but he didn't have any idea of what he did. Look at their bodies. The monsters that appeared in the artifacts trials were based on relics kept in Seoul Palace Museum. For example, the monsters in the one-player dungeon was literally a musical instrument made of a seashell, and as for the Dongue Bagam five-person dungeon, there was no need to explain anything. It was the same for the acupuncture copper man in the three-person dungeon. Yusenga stared closely at a copper man and opened her mouth. Is there something etched on the body? That's right. In fact, the acupuncture copper man was a relic that displayed 354 acupuncture points on the human body, including the front, back, arms, legs and head. It was an artifact used to study acupuncture in the Joseon dynasty. Blade of Faith is activated. I stabbed one of the acupuncture points on the copper man. Then I twisted it and the body scattered into powder. It was a meaningless end for a 7th grade reproduction species. You have hunted the first acupuncture copper man. If you look closely, the color for each acupuncture point was subtly different. Some are devoid of blood and some are deadly. Some of the points, there is a different effect every time an acupuncture point is hit. Ah. The important thing was to find the acupuncture point that didn't break the flow. I demonstrated a few times and Lee Gilyoung and Yusenga got the knack for it very quickly. Lee Gilyoung used diverse communication to shock the points with small insects, while Yusenga applied binding thread. I honestly admired what I saw. These two people, they really had excellent growth. Your party is the first to hunt 100 acupuncture copper men. You have cleared the three-person dungeon. For Sang Pyong Tong Bo coins are obtained as a basic reward. The exclusive skill hit a pressure point has been acquired. I got the skill I aimed for. 
hit a pressure point. It was a unique technique to use the pressure points to subdue the enemy. It was an essential skill for me to maintain the king of no killing. Yu Sangha looked at the Sangpyong Tong Bo coins curiously and muttered, Can we buy something with this? It can be exchanged for coins or a dungeon ticket. Then, of course, we will use it for the dungeon admission ticket. Pay me three each. I have four so combined, it will be ten coins. Ten? Wait a minute, Doc Jessai. We will enter the hidden dungeon where we can get the four in demonic beheading sword. Yusenga asked with surprise. But didn't you say we wouldn't get the four in demonic beheading sword? We aren't going after the four in demonic beheading sword. We were going to hunt the kings. Chapter 66 Master of the Throne Part 3 We were going to enter the dungeon, but not to get the four in demonic beheading sword. Yu Sangha and Li Gilyoung immediately understood what I meant. You are going to take their flags. Then you will kill them. They had different interpretations. Yu Sangha looked down at Li Gilyoung with surprised eyes. The interesting thing was that Li Gilyoung looked up at Yu Sangha with disappointment. Hyung, leave the finishing touches to me. This boy, he already noticed that I couldn't directly kill a person. The exclusive skill, character list is activated. This person isn't registered in character list. Currently collecting information about the corresponding figure. Lee Gilliam's information still wasn't available. I turned my head and encountered Yu Senga's worried eyes. She looked between Lee Gilliam and I before bowing her head. I spoke to Lee Gilliam, do as you please. I could see what Yu Senga was worried about. Lee Gilliam wasn't even in middle school yet. But she should be aware of it. The morals that we used to have were now useless in this world. This isn't a game. Be careful. Yes, don't worry. I listened to Lee Gilliam's voice and hid the flag on my back. Until now, the flag was a good bait to attract the small kings. However, from now on, it would just be bait for predators. There was nothing good about advertising that I was a king on this battlefield. The intermediate Dakibi's voice was heard. Hoo hoo, everyone is doing well. So many people are doing hidden scenario, then what is the meaning of hidden? It had no nerves. I would find it embarrassing now and again. Someone has already fulfilled the requirements for the first qualification. Once again, this is interesting. A king had already achieved the black flag. It was probably one of the seven kings. After a while, the requirements of the second qualifications will be revealed. I turned to look at the party members and said, quickly. The Dakibis after a while might not be long. I put together the Sangpyong Tong Bo coins in the lobby one by one. You have entered a hidden field using 10 Sangpyong Tong Bo coins. Do you want to enter the hidden chapter, the Big Dipper? Right now, I had the purple flag. The kings with the same purple flags would flock to the Big Dipper. In other words, my prey were all gathered in one place. You have entered the Big Dipper chapter. My vision waved and the lobby soon changed. The white marble lobby was transformed into a spacious waiting room. There were seven doors at the end of the waiting room. Uh. Yusenga let out a brief groan and took a step back. There were bodies at Yusenga's feet. They were the bodies of group members who had fought each other. Lee Gilyoung looked down at the corpses with an expressionless face. There were so many bodies that it was hard to walk straight. Hundreds of bodies were scattered all over the place, like graves. There was a wave of blood already. I felt a bit strange. If I hadn't spread the plagiarist writer's textbook, they might not have died. Then didn't they die because of me? Hey, there are people. The center of the waiting room contained a huge body using the bodies of people as fuel. I could see the faces of some survivors. I didn't know if they were allies or held a truce, but they weren't fighting. I looked at the group of people and spoke to my party members. Be careful. A group stood up. Greed could be seen in their eyes. You are a newcomer. 
Who is your king? Some people secretly moved behind our party while others drew our attention. The encirclement was gradually becoming narrower. Is it you? Or maybe the woman next to you? It can't be the kid. Many of the constellations are annoyed by the pests. A few constellations want you to take serious action. I was already planning on that. Hey, why aren't you answering, Ak? The white light of unbroken faith filled the air. The unstoppable trajectory cut off the limbs of a person. A confused person shouted, Damn! Just kill him! The people took out their weapons like they had been waiting. But it was too late. W.Y. are you so fast? There were few people were agility higher than me right now. They didn't have high-level skills so no one other than the Seven Kings could follow my movements right now. The Blade of Faith swung in a semicircle and cut five or six people at the same time. The attack that followed cut off a hand holding a weapon. I pierced another wrist. Quiet. The severed limbs flew unrealistically through the air. I walked behind a man screaming painfully and used a skill. The exclusive skill hit a pressure point LV1 is activated. I had cut off the man's limbs, but there was no need to be cruel. There was a dark blue dagger hidden in the man's arms. This was the poisonous dagger that could be obtained at the end of the five-person dungeon, the Dongue Bagum. If my response had been even a bit late, this would have been us. As soon as the people collapsed, I called to Lee Gilyoung. Please. Lee Gilyoung nodded. Lee Gilyoung's hand stopped the people's breathing one by one. He moved his hand like he was killing insignificant insects. I was also a little surprised. Then Yusenga came forward. I'll do it, Gilyoung. Can you do it? I will still do it. Yusenga's tone was unusually stubborn. She looked grimly at Lee Gilyoung. She held a knife and turned her back to me. Maybe Yusenga despised me. Perhaps it was fortunate that I couldn't read Yusenga's mind. Yusenga moved even more efficiently than Lee Gilyoung and took the lives of the remaining people. Her fingertips trembled as the work finished. Will we continue in this fashion? Yes, probably. I will do it in the future, instead of Gilyoung. Can you do it? There is no problem. It is just like breaking an egg. Yusenga used an analogy as she pretended to be calm. I can do it better. Lee Gilyoung grumbled, making Yusenga place a hand on his head. There would be many twists and turns in the future. Sometimes we might feel like collapsing or want to give up. But we had to overcome it. Most of the seven kings we would soon meet would have higher stats than us and they would also possess unique skills. There would certainly be situations where we couldn't win without being hit by the enemies. We silently picked up the items that the group dropped. You have earned 2,300 coins. The item Dongue Bagum, various diseases, upper half of the body, has been acquired. As expected, they were people who cleared the five-person dungeon. A total of eight books were available from the five-person dungeon, each with different usages. I was sure there were a few people who cleared the five-person dungeon, so the others should be moderately easy to find. Unfortunately, there was no king in the group I just killed. Clap clap clap. Then the sound of clapping was heard. One of the men watching from the big bonfire approached me with a smile on his face. He showed no signs of panic, despite the other group being wiped out. I raised my item and warned them casually. What do you want? The man took one step back and raised both hands as if he had no intention of fighting. Ah, uh, calm down. I don't want to fight. I took a closer look at the man. There was a large spear on his back. The firm chest muscles were revealed by the clothes and his long hair was tied back. You have great skills. You don't seem to have any passive skills, but you wiped out the Chunjong group, those bastards, they are one of the groups that lost their king. Of course, that's why they came forward so recklessly. But you're a little late. The major kings have all entered the dungeon. They will be busy fighting now. Well, the winner is almost decided, but, 
The last king who passed through here was incredibly fierce. Who is that? Do you know the tyrant king? The man continued to speak. He is currently the most powerful king in northern Seoul. This is a story between those who already know. The owner of the absolute throne will surely be the tyrant king. A person might think so if they saw the tyrant king in person. The tyrant king's armed force was certainly the top among the seven kings. But it was laughable for him to be the owner of the absolute throne. The tyrant king was strong, but he wasn't the strongest among the seven kings. As if reading my mind, the man opened his mouth. But I don't think so. I think that the tyrant king will never become the owner of the absolute throne. Why do you think that? I saw it myself. He has a strong power, but he doesn't know how to handle people. A king must know the hearts of the people. The hearts of the people? My king is able to do that. It is why many incarnations follow him. I am sure that my king will become the master of the absolute throne. I followed the man's glance. The Big Dipper chapter consisted of seven entrances. Perhaps his king was moving in one of the passages. What is your point? Do you want us to join you? Haha, <laughs> that would be nice, but you will follow me just like that, right? I just want to make an offer. If you don't mind, why don't you ally with us? I realized why this man was still in the waiting room. This guy was a bait. Why should I? The tyrant king is very strong. I believe in my king, but I don't think he can defeat the tyrant king alone. In contrast to his loyalty, he was a very realistic guy. But he was a real loyalist. Think about it. What will happen if we can't stop him from holding the legendary sword? What if he gets the absolute throne and controls all the kings in Seoul? Don't you think that you should stop this no matter what? I dimly remembered. It didn't happen in the third regression, but the anti-tyrant king alliance had formed many times in ways of survival. Once again, the future had changed. You have a point. That is why I'm making this suggestion. Our group will soon be acting against the tyrant king. We have already talked with several other kings. I don't know what group you belong to, but you won't lose anything by joining us. You just need to give us a spoonful. It was exactly as he said. The problem was that the price of the spoonful was bigger than he thought. The man took my silence as my acceptance. If you are serious, you can meet our king and think about it. It is almost time for him to return to the waiting room. Oh, there he is. In fact, one of the seven doors opened and the group that entered the Big Dipper returned. King. The people standing at the door knelt down at once. Then the man in the center of the crowd approached this side. He was a clean-shaven man. There was a brown club in his hands. Wait. This guy, was it him?